Welcome, I'm David, I'm Lindsay, and, and this, this is Desmond's, Desmond's Donders. The car park for this weekend's Donder. But where are we? Well the trouble with showing you where we are is that the identifying item is right into the sun and is likely to be the rest of the evening. But catching it now, well, it's the sun. Who knows what the forecast will bring us tomorrow, although it does say sun. Let's go and have a walk down to the river. Just a few steps. It's a little breezy, but not too bad. Now if it's like this tomorrow, there'll be no trouble flying. You get some better photos of the bridge when the sun is in a different direction. But for the moment, this is the spot for the weekend. We'll try again for the bridge tomorrow. The sun's going to go down in that direction, so there's not going to be much we can do today. And there's the sun, as I said, just dipping below the Spey Viaduct. The sun's out, it's warm, and here's another view of the bridge. No doubt take a walk across it at some time. 
but this is the view when the sun isn't setting. It's not the hottest part of the day yet, but it's already 16 degrees. And it's not the equinox till tomorrow. sun set some time ago but I couldn't let these colours go the wind has calmed down so we'll see what this gives us and just as I say the winds calmed down it picks up again. The same sweep. Just another chance to see the colours. And here, perhaps, the bird life. Crows, gulls, but the songbirds about this weekend. bridge was needed to span the spay. With no rock banks north of the Fockabers Road Bridge, how were they to contain the mighty spay within the bridge's span or ensure the security of middle supports to cope with frequent spring spates and constant changes of the river's channel? As Dick Lauder quotes in his book on the Mockle Spate, the spay's a wanton woman who may stay in her ain bed. And how true that has proved to be over the years. The bridge across the River Spay, close to its mouth between the former Garmouth and Spay Bay stations, sometimes also known as the Garmouth Viaduct. The viaduct has three sections, a central 350 foot bowstring approached on either side by three 100 foot plain truss girders. The overall length is 947.5 feet and the viaduct has this great length due to its proximity to the mouth of the spay, the course of the main channel width of the river varying in spate conditions. It took three years to build the bridge and the engineer was Patrick Barnett who was the chief engineer of the Great North of Scotland Railway with consultant engineers Blythe and Cunningham. This led to the nickname Barnett's Monument. Construction of the viaduct and those at Cullen delayed complete opening of the line until 1886. The course of the river has altered to the east after construction and has moved a little west again, showing the sense of building such a long viaduct. To its north is the appropriately named Railway Arch pool.
This is the road in. And park up. And the path up to the bridge, which we're about to take. river from the steps heading back down to the car park and there's Desmond thank you for watching Desmond's Donners and remember Please take nothing but memories and leave nothing but tracks. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and hopefully we'll see you next time.